click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in today's topic what we are going to study an roc in which is a left hand in previous numerical we have studied a, a function which is a right handed signal now here today's numerical the current numerical is a left handed signal now look at the question first of all the question is determine the laplace transform of given signal and find their rocs where the x of t is e to the power of plus 3t u of minus t now u of minus t is mentioned means what the mirror image of u of t is taken now listen whenever u of t is there which means the function is a right handed signal but whenever u of minus t is there which means the function is a left handed signal now let's see the location of roc and the pole value of this function now solution the x of t is e to the power plus 3t u of minus t so this is my function according to definition of laplace transform any continuous time signal can be transformed into laplace domain and represented by x of s so let's say the time signal is x of t and after applying laplace transform it becomes x of s and according to definition integration over the range from minus infinity to infinity x of t multiplied by e to the power minus t st and this whole product is integrated over the range from minus infinity to infinity with respect to time t now my x of t is e to the power minus 3t u of minus t i'll substitute this value over here now what is important as i told you in previous video also unit step the inputs are always given only to change the intervals of integration and that integration interval will be now the roc of or the region of that given function so unit step u of minus t unit step is having amplitude 1 but right now this time period is less than equal to 0 because it is a mirror image of unit step and it is having amplitude 0 when t is greater than 0 now so according to this statement we'll substitute the limits this function this unit step is available only from minus infinity to 0 so we'll replace this integration limit from minus infinity to 0 and that in that period the unit step having amplitude 1 so e to the power my plus 3t into 1 into e to the power minus st dt so after multiplying 1 you have only e to the power 3t e to the power minus st in the integration limit now look at here in integration we have only e to the power 3t into e to the power minus st dt now we will do the same thing in previous numerical also and this numerical also the basis is same if the base is same which means you can add the powers but here also i am going to take minus t common or you can take a plus t also so just to take i'll take plus t common so what you will get e to the power t into bracket we have minus s plus 3 if i take t common then we have minus s plus 3 inside this bracket and with respect to dt i'm going to integrate now apply the integration then what you will get now we know that if after taking integration the constant part which is present in the power will be now in a division or will be present in a denominator so e to the power t minus s plus 3 will be present in now denominator and the limit is from minus infinity to 0 will substitute limit inside this bracket so t is replaced by 0 first because 0 is the upper limit whereas lower limit is minus infinity so e to the power 0 will comes first minus e to the power if i replace this t by minus infinity then this whole term t is replaced by minus infinity the product is also now minus infinity and we have minus of s plus 3 now we know that e to the power 0 is always 1 
where z to the power minus infinity is always 0 and we have minus s plus 3 in the denominator. Now, what I will do? I will take minus sign common from denominator. So, we have minus 1 upon. So, what I will get? Minus of 1 upon s minus 3 in the denominator. Now, we will find out the ROC of this given function x of s. Now, the x of s is minus of 1 upon s minus 3. Now, I have taken minus sign in the denominator or you can say multiply numerator and denominator by minus sign. So, what we will get? Minus s plus 3. This is the original equation which is important. Now, the real part. The real part is my real part of s is more basically we what we write real part of s is greater than sigma but right now my real part is present in having a minus sign if this s is having a minus sign which means this value or this sign will be changed now real part of s will be represented by less than sigma and my sigma value is now calculate the sigma value from here the sigma value calculated which is you can say that a 3. Now, the sigma value you can calculate which is a 3. How to calculate? Just equate s plus 3, s minus 3 equal to 0. What you will get? s equal to 3. So, this real part of s you can say that less than 3. I will repeat. Because of this minus sign is present on s, this greater than sign is changed to less than sigma here my sigma value is 3 so your real part of s is less than 3 which means the real part of s is nothing but my roc and this roc is less than 3 now we know that from this we can say that the real part or the roc is less than 3 but what we want the total region now just go through the question first in question, unit step is mentioned, but mirror image of unit step is was there. And that mirror image, the according to the time limit of u of minus t, that unit step is available from minus infinity to 0. And here, the uh, ROC is less than 3. So, let's say this is the location of 3. And according to property, if this function is a left-handed signal, then the ROC is always placed on a left-hand side of S plane. But if the function is a left handed signal here the function is left handed the reason unit step is mentioned but that unit step is a mirror image the in question the mirror image of unit step is given now so according to that mirror image of unit step you can say that the region of conversion limit is from minus infinity to zero so on that basis we can say that the given function is a left handed signal but according to property what it is mentioned if the function is a left handed signal then the ROC always marked from left side, always present on the left side of given pole. Here the pole value is 3. So your ROC is always available on left hand side of pole. So left hand side means what? Here this is the place where the ROC of this X of S is present. So you can say that real part of S is less than 3 and this is the ROC of such type of questions. Now in next numerical we will study a different type of ROC but for that stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.